the book questions it is I am the book question today I will introduce you to this sad but honorable book Charlotte's Web by E.B. White himself author of Stuart Little and some other books too this book is about a girl named Fern one day at the farm there was a runt pig that his father wanted to kill, but she rescued the little pig and named him Wilbur. When Wilbur became too big to keep in the house, they they put it in a barn. And in the barn is where the miracles will happen. One day, Wilbur, mind you, Wilbur found out that he was going to be slaughtered and made into bacon and that he didn't want to die. And she had made on one excellent friend and, his na- and her name was Charlotte. Charlotte was an ordinary grey spider but you will soon know that she is not ordinary at all. When, when Wilbur knows she will be sta- slaughtered, of course he doesn't want to be killed. So, he tries to find a way to him not being dead. And Charlotte makes a promise. And she always keeps promises that Wilbur will see another winter. And so, she starts, in, starts to weave wards in her web. The first word was some pig. Some pig, by the way. And everyone, many, many people came to the barn to see the pig. And the pig just has to be more special. She, the pig had to be special, very special, for anyone to keep. Instead of making it to ham and bacon, mind you. And Wilbur, who doesn't, didn't want to, you know, end up at some guy's breakfast, helped Charlotte a lot with that. He pretended to be a summer pig, to into tricks in front of the crowd that he gathered in front of the web. But soon enough, it all went away. Next. Again, Charlotte weaved. And this time, the word said, Terrific. And people came and had the same reaction too. But not so much again this time. And this time, yet again, the excitement faded away. And and he and the owner was still going to kill the pig. Next. Next, Charlotte wove another ward. Radiant. And Wilbur tried his best to look radiant in front of the crowds who had gathered. And, but the same thing happened again. But the next was the chance. There was a big country fair, and there, if the pit, if the if Wilbur wins, he will, he will be kept as a honored pig. But even Charlotte is growing sick for spiders don't live that long and she too will die but before that she is too going to lay an egg and and the 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 rat who lives in the barn and charlotte and wilbur goes to the country fair and the rat enjoys himself his name was templeton and gets all really fat And as for Charlotte, she makes her egg and puts it, and makes an egg sack and puts it in the store. And, and, but that day, Wilbur lost the competition. And Wilbur was probably going to end up as bacon and grease. But it is not to be feared, for when the judges saw the woods, that Charlotte, the last word Charlotte has had ever woven in her beautiful web, it said humble. 
and Wolf was some pig, and he won. He got a medal, a prize, a ribbon. And so Wilbur saw many, many winters after that one. And as for the egg sack, if you're wondering, Wilbur carried it in his mouth. And when he arrived in the barn, he put it and made a nice little nest for it. And there, hundreds of little spiders came out. Hundreds. But not all of them stayed, and Wilbur was very, 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 very disappointed. But he found out that three had decided to wove a web in the same place as Charlotte, in front of the barn door. And generation after generation, three or two, three or four, some amount of Charlotte descendants wove the web wove her, their webs at the same place as their descendants did. And the story ends like that. And it's an awesome book. And like always, your book quester and the book quester. Gotta go, mates. You know what I mean.